Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and in this video we're going to be doing the Unreal Tournament Benchmark once again, this time on the AMD side of things, as requested. Now, a couple things to note beforehand is that this is a pre-alpha version of the game still. I'm going to be running it in OpenGL 3.2 on Ubuntu side and DirectV 11 on the Windows side. A couple of reasons why I do that at the end of the video. I'm also going to be running this on the Radeon SI drivers, Mesa 11.1, LLVM 3.8, Kernel 4.2 on the Ubuntu 15.10 side and Catalyst 15.10 beta drivers on the Windows 10 side. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see the results. Starting right off the bat, we're going with minimum settings at 1080p and we are seeing a whopping 108 frames per second difference on average, which is very, very huge. When we change everything to Epic, we really max it out at 1080p. We see that difference only drop down to about 43 frames per second difference, but it's still very, very large. It's very painful to see this. Now, when we go into the match, you will notice the similar issue that I experienced with performance on the NVIDIA side of things is that when we start out the match, the frame rates aren't all that bad, but as we go along, it starts to plateau and get stuck at 30 to 40 frames per second with dips that often go into the 20 frames per second range. So the results here are pretty much the same as you'd see on the NVIDIA side of things, which showcases that this is a Unreal Tournament specific issue when it comes to performance. We also see the uh, texture issue here with the link gun not having textures. And the Unreal developers know about this, but they still haven't fixed it for about a couple of months now. So if you want to go into this competitively right now, is definitely not the time. The pre-alpha still needs a whole lot of bug fixing for their OpenGL renderer and performance improvements. I really do hope they take this seriously because these, these are greater than 50% differences here that we're seeing. All right, summary time. So on minimum settings, we were seeing about a 60% difference on average, all right, with everything set to low with the Windows version of the game running at a higher frame rate than the Linux version. Then when we maxed everything out to Epic, we are only seeing about a 44% difference on average. So there is a decrease, but still not good enough to be considered on par. If we were seeing maybe only a 10 to 5% difference, then things would be a lot more acceptable. So the reason this benchmark is limited to OpenGL 3.2 is that when I max everything out to OpenGL 4 on epic settings, we're seeing why I'm going to show you right here, a pretty bugged out scene. Then when I put everything to low while still using OpenGL 4, it's still unplayable. Even though the scene is more visible, it's completely unplayable in this retrospective. So I use the Radeon open source drivers this time around because as I will show you right now, I got better frame rates in it than using Catalyst 15.9. That said, this is Catalyst 15.9 running on Ubuntu 15.04. And I could not get Catalyst 15.9 running at, in Ubuntu 15.10 at all, so I am restricted to Radeon SI on Ubuntu 15.10. This is due to the AMD Catalyst driver not supporting the Linux kernel 4.2. I've even tried patching it myself, the driver, and I still can't get it to work. I'll usually be greeted with a black screen of death on re-entry. So that's it for this benchmark video, guys. I hope you got something useful from it. I hope I didn't make too many mistakes. If I did, let me know in the comments down below, and thank you for watching. If you're interested in seeing the NVIDIA results, here is the video on the left. Just go ahead and click it so you'll jump right to that video. Now on the right here, you'll see that I have bug reports for these Unreal Tournament issues. If you guys could go ahead and add your reports as well to the links that I provide in the description down below, hopefully we can get more attention from the Unreal developers. Thanks for watching.